We are about to start our next session. This session is themed Torchbearers of Equity in Healthcare. We would like to invite our speaker, Dr. H.S. Babaskar, for the same. We would like to invite Dr. J.V. Peter to please moderate this session. It is said that uh, things, uh, um, the best is saved for the last. It is my great privilege to introduce to you one of the doins of medicine in India, Dr. H.S. Babaskar. From a humble beginning, having been born in a small village of just 500 residents in rural Maharashtra, Dr. Bhavaskar has risen to be one of India's internationally acclaimed physicians and an authority on scorpion sting. Dr. Bhavaskar completed MBBS at the Government Medical College and Hospital Nagpur. Following that, he was appointed in 1976 to a government-funded primary health center in Birwadi, where he witnessed high fatality due to scorpion stings. This provided the impetus for his lifetime work on that field. He went on to complete MD from the BJ Medical College in Pune in 1981. Although Dr. Bhavaskar is well known for his work on scorpion sting, which has been published in leading journals, including The Lancet, he has also conducted research on snake bites, cardiovascular disease, chronic renal failure associated with drinking water contaminated by heavy metals and hypothyroidism. His work on scorpion sting led to a dramatic reduction of case fatality from over 40% to less than 1%. He has over 100 publications to his credit, as well as opinion pieces on ethics, public health, and state of medical research in India. Sir, it's an honor for us to invite you to deliver the talk on torchbearers of equity in healthcare. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon to all. Now, four days are over, continuous. All subjects are over, all topics are over. Now, I don't think what topic remains for me. Still, I will try what topic because now I will just say what in my mind. Because you say I work in rural area and import. How to change the slides? How to change the slide? Thanks for So, I am working in a small village in 1976. During that period, there's a pre-digital, no internet, no microset, no infusion pump, uh, even no cardiac monitor. Still, I applied sodium nitroprusside to the refractory heart failure in primary health center and patient recovered. So, this is what we, we are getting during that 35 MS slides. But you slide like a job. Then we got a projector, small projectors, and these all typewriters. My missus used to type repeatedly, typing, retyping, retyping paper and resubmission to the Lancet, and Lancet is rejecting usually. Now, now the problem is this is a small. See, what is my aim here is my laboratory was BP apparatus and stethoscope only. And this has contributed a lot from, from BMJ to Lancet to NEGM, and nothing else is required. If you require a grant, you will not do any research. Now, most important thing is scorpion mortality was 30%. Mortality was 30% in rural area, all irrespective of age, irrespective of poverty, irrespective of richness, mortality was 30%. It is reduced to almost 0% with a simple clinical examination and diagnosis of refractory heart failure and treatment with a oral in alpha blocker. This is the only understanding of pathophysiology. Very important, you see. When I, when I joined the primary health center, six months child's mother had a scorpion sting in the midnight, early in the morning. The child was crying. She took the child to the breast and mother died of massive pulmonary edema, which has flooded my heart. I took Hippocratic oath and that day I will do the research. Then I completed MD, then returned again to the same area with the sodium nitroprusside, and sodium nitroprusside succeeded ultimately. And then, so we read in the NEGM, prazosin is called orosonide and prazosin, and then ASV has come. Again, we added ASV with a randomized trial. ASV of the prazosin recurs within six hours, and problem is solved. No patient is coming to my hospital now. I train almost all peripheral doctors. 
I, rather than patient reach into the hospital, I reach to the patient house. I reach to the primary health center, train the peripheral doctor how to treat. Each primary health center doctor treating scorpion sting and no patient is coming to me. That is success of real research. Now, what's it? Why we should update it? Now, why students should be updated? In my curriculum during 1980, beta blocker was totally contraindicated in congestive cardiac failure. Now, in 2000, beta blocker is the first drug of choice of congestive cardiac failure. Then she said that thrombolysis was the not a thrombolysis has come. What, what the, uh, the STJ say, uh, in person can be aborted, that we have seen now. Statin is a various cause. Diabetes, hypertension, what one? Anticoagulant, aspirin, AG2 inhibitor can be used as anti-hypertension, congestive cardiac failure is, instead of diabetes also. Anti when in, during 1978, we never, never think that hemophilia can be treatable. Drug has come. Weekly, monthly injectable that putasurine is a drug of choice to prevent hemophilic bleed, bleeding. Now, nasal, nasal, nasal inhalation to treat the PAT. So, the PHC doctor can able to manage. If they manage the patient, that is the way why we should be advancing the treatment. See, this we want to delay. It. This we don't want. Because of this, you see, NEET, NEET has killed the academic medicine. And now the today we have, today we have received that we don't do, got a slide one slide that academic medicine, clinical medicine has already gone to the funeral, so that is very bad. What for this? Now this is a soul uh, scale, just a skeletal need need at need student without soul. They are busy. They never go to the ward. They never see the patient. They got many books. They got imported books. They got many author books. They got, they got very micro knowledge, which is not essential for the truth for life. Now, what we see, this, you see, this we want. This, what is, these are the leaders in the medicine. Look at, these are called leaders in the medicine. Lancet, 34, 34 liters, many short cases, many papers published. BMJ with cover illustrations with the scorpion, uh, the antivenom trial. And uh, NGM review, and you see in the, uh, in the tribal community in COVID, during COVID, they avoid to come to the Mahal because they don't have a uh, uh, mask. So I said, you can use a wild leaf, big wild leaf as a mask. And they started using it, and Lancet has published in cover illustrations. So this Lancet need such things, doesn't need a micro knowledge, need a routine knowledge, which can be easily understood by others. Now this what? This is my review. Now, I will not talk much about scorpions thing because that stigma attached to my head to be able to remove. Be now, now, what, 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 this is, now this is my menu. Scorpion thing is what? Snake bite. Which snake bite? What we did? Snake bite, which is a crate, is a silent killer. We had to be a bite to the patient during night, nocturnal. No local site at all. Patient woke up with a pain in up down floor, floor bed and in the morning, descending neuroparalysis. If you treat in norm, recovery is 100. HIV, lipodystrophy. Now HIV is extra, almost there is no HIV. Now the but patients are taking chronic anti-HIV drugs, which can cause the lipodystrophy. And lipodystrophy is called stigmatized in society, which has no treatment. Fluorosis, dental fluorosis we have seen. The, the, the college girl was reluctant to attend the college because of ugly looking of teeth. Now yesterday, you see lecture from the Himalaya, that is, uh, like that. Have you observed the teeth of the children? They had a fluorosis. And the doctor has agreed because last time we got a fluorosis. So fluorosis, is, dental fluorosis is not reversible. But skeletal fluorosis is reversible. So fluorosis is very common. Why fluorosis is common? Because government law is this borewell should not be dig more than 110 feet. The farmers will dig up more than 150 and 500. Then we get cadmium. Now, Alex and Madam say there is no report from India. This is the first report I say now. Cadmium we found in one district place. We'll discuss detail of cadmium, which caused the renal toxicity, renal failure, along with the lead, lead all, uh, all the patients I can tell lead. Thyroid. Why hypothyroid is increased? In my area, hypothyroid, every alternate date we get a new case of hypothyroid. We detected that we found out the anti-TPO on thyroid is higher level than the normal. Anti-TPO raise, raise is a normal OPD patient. 
while in tribal community there is no hypothyroidism anti tpo anti this is not raised why the, the tribal people is raw salt we educated people eat iodine is salt raw salt is seven seven, uh, seven times lesser than the uh, this iodine salt and iodine which are contaminated is inorganic iodine this is not a combined with the thyroid peroxidase enzyme and form antibodies and kill the thyroids. While the raw salt is organic soil, doesn't form the antigen. But iodine is salt is for, for, for cold areas and Rajasthan and Himalaya because where iodine is leached out from the soil, we, we get iodine from the crops, from the grains, and there is no iodine free. Iodine is not available. That's why, but government has got national program, national means whole country, not restricted. Then RBC, you see, we got a patient one day, one day a daughter-in-law has brought his father-in-law. I said, for examination, she said, no, he has forgotten where he has kept the FD for throat life. She was interested in FD. So then how, why I said, why I said, what happened to this? Her mother has a dementia. Her sister is her dementia. Her brother has dementia. I was shocked, family dementia. So I said, because yeah, dementia is dominant, burn out stage when MRI will show the hippocampus is there, the acros necrosis, then the radiologist or neurologist diagnose dementia. I want to know, can we diagnose earliest things? So dementia is because of memory due to hippocampus, where hippocampus acetylcholine is secreted. Choline estrate synthesizes acetylcholine, anticholine estrate kills acetylcholine. But we cannot. That we cannot uh, analyze the CNS choline anticholinesterase. So I studied in detail. RBC anticholinesterase can be analyzed. So I found RBC, when there is RBC cholinesterase is low, we, should, we are not supposed to give anticholinesterase to the dementia. That is donut. If anticholinesterase is raised, we are supposed to be donut. If and that, there, there is a low, then we can give uh, this is. Uh, uh, Make a myelin which can be given, nematinin can be given to this patient. This is a new molecular, new biomolecular I search out in rural area by just thinking in detail. Then COVID-19, you see, when the COVID has come, patient, all our rural doctors close their clinic, gone for tour. And they are, when the patient comes, fever, headache, myalgia, go. This is no, no, no doctor is available. But I started OPD. Because you see, this is a natural calamity for the nation. So this is a, that we start. How our uh, uh, our uh, uh, ancestor has treated plague patients. Where Jyoti Phule, Madam Jyoti Phule has treated a plague patient carrying on her back, and she died of plague. So why we should not treat? And during COVID, there were near over three thousand patients. Not a single patient was given remdesivir, who was black marketed. We have just given simple thing, uh, this uh, simple aspirin, metformin, metformin, methylene blue, statin, and this other rest, rest muscle and doxycycline as antiviral. Now, how will we prevent? Prevention is a mother of cure. We studied in, uh, you see, uh, during 1920, whole January to December, Lancet was flooded with the COVID only. No other article. Only COVID, COVID. And there was one article that's uh, iodine, bioprovident iodine prevent the entry of the coronavirus in the nasal mucosa. We started putting iodine drops and we advise putting iodine drops when the, uh, the accompanied patient, accompanied relatives and near 500 patients were prevented this uh, corona disease. In my own area, we never intubate the patient. Patient intubated with the death certificate. When patients go to Bombay, Mumbai, intubation death. Actually, in all literature, NIV is advisable, not the intubation in COVID. We use NIV, we use minimum oxygen, and no mucormycosis in my area, no injectable steroid. Steroid was given in tapering for only, only one week, no mucormycosis at all. And mucormycosis is prevented by? Methylene blue, methylene blue prevent the entry and kill the mucormycosis, which we publish. Next, we get a vitamin B12. No food contains vitamin B12. Why there is stroke, ISD, ruleria or increasing because of B12 deficiency, increase homocysteine and stroke. Now, B12 is synthesized in intestinal bacteria and which is absorbed. We have studied a vegetable. Washed vegetable without wash vegetable. After washing, B12 is lost. 
because bacteria grows there, vitamin P12 is deposited. Even meat, all three types of meat, pre-cooked meat, 100%. After cook, my 80% vitamin B12 is lost. So the, this is what, then what, what part, then how we can get a vitamin B12? So ultimately, we prepare a powder, and just like a salt, table salt, we start advising a patient to take one plus, uh, table salt, add to the table salt, and get vitamin B12. So this is B12, which is a very important drive, which we are doing. Vitamin D, urea, lay toxicity, battery we have found mainly. Ear crease, we detect a new simple sign. Ear crease, earliest most sign. If you get a ear crease, more early saying people, more likely to develop ischemic heart disease. Thrombolytic, in my hospital, rural area, hospital, hospital the needle to, hospital to needle is 30, 18 minutes. No soon I take the ECG, if I say one little one, yes, the depression, my, my missus start preparing the uh, thrombolytic therapy. Because one will lead the HD depression, but it's got an interval in fact. So this is a very, very important early diet. Gym tonic, even one patient we found came with a quadriplegia, diagnosed Gollinbury syndrome. After our examination, we took the ECG, EC showed the mark, UVO, potassium was 1.5. The relative was reluctant to talk about me. We said, we can complain to the police. Why this hypopotassium? There is no history of excessive rice eating, no sweating, no diuretic. Young man, but he is daily visiting the gym. And gym tonic, he was consuming gym tonic. And the gym tonic was contained dexone and ciproheptadine. That ciproheptadine prevent the development of Cushing syndrome. Now, Chinese restaurant syndrome. Patient took Chinese food at 8 p.m. report next 10, 10 p.m. in the morning. It's not like a routine food poisoning because uh, MSG, monosodium gluconate, act through the hypothalamus. They stimulate the hypothalamus and then start the reaction. So it takes 12 hours. Now this is where is spinocerebral ataxia. We found consanguinity marriages in come whole one village in Bulana. This is spinocerebral ataxia in Mali community, which we treated with consanguinity marriages and neurologists are. Just they are, they are saying nothing can be spine. How you can say nothing? Something should be done for spine cerebrotexia. And this, this research is going on. Now let us see chronic renal failure in farmers in Vidarbha. You see, my, my son is a farmer who is working in Bulana. He used to send me daily cutting pages, the paper cutting. Young people are dying, egg fellows died. Somebody has sold out the land, somebody has sold out the government, committed suicide because of heavy debt, and this, these are the frame cuttings. Then I was worried how this can happen in three districts, Akola, Amravati, and Sangramapur area. So this, the uh, dialysis people were just, they are just uh, kidney, they washing the kidneys only. Dialysis means just washing the kidney, not hard washing at all, not going in detail. You see, this is called inequality. What we, we professionals are responsible for inequality. So what to do for equality? Go to the root of the cause and search of the cause, which I am searching out. Now we, we took out our whole family to that area. In one village, there was near out 54 patients died and there was more than 30 patients chronic renal failure. We are now, now this is the village where this particular Maharashtra where these sticks are developing. Now this is the patient with their report. See, serum creatine two, three, four, five attending, and this is a village. Now, what what form uh, cadmium has come? The question has come. Now we take the blood sample of the water, so uh, blood sample of the patient, water, and uh, so rocks. And remember, never wait for funds for research. If you want to research, you should from your pocket. This will be original research. Now this, this all has come. Now we just find out, we send these samples to the uh, Amruta Institute Kochi for analysis of heavy metal. And surprising enough, all these blood, rocks and contains cadmium and lead. Now the red question has come, where from cadmium has come? Now the cadmium is come from the phosphate manure. Now the phosphate manure is prepared from Ganga rocks. And Ganga rocks is naturally contaminated with the cadmium. If the government wants to purify, separate the cadmium from uh, the phosphorus, the cost of the, the, cost of the uh, manual goes to 10 to 2 to high years. Now the next question, why in this district not rest of the Maharashtra? Because other Maharashtra are using cadmium. And these three districts have clay land. Now this clay land, clay land is important. Then clay land adsorbs the cadmium. 
and it releases in this water, drinking water. It absorbs, and all pesticide contain lead. Half life of cadmium is 24 years. When you consume cadmium, it will stay in kidney for 24 years. Lead's half lifetime is six, six years. Now, lead will, will cause anemia. It will increase the ferric acid in intestine. Lead, ferric acid enhances the absorption of cadmium. So, lead and cadmium symbolically act. They increase the absorption of cadmium. And we are for NH purple. Look at this. Look at this slide. You see CKD in my area is one point basis. Renal stone is also common. So, CKD was higher, double the normal in that area. Now, we analyze 246 village. Out of his chronic renal failure was 18 per thousand. The renal stone was called renal, impending renal failure was 74 per thousand. And mortality was 25, 2.1 percent, 7.1 percent. Now, most important is, now with that, what is the solution? What is the solution? You see, we must be able to get, don't let up. Research is not done to get printed. Research is done to get benefit to the society. Then it is a research. There are many publications, you see, it's less. Many doctors got many publications, they forget in which journal it is published. So this is not a reason. So what we did, now we published this in toxicology, the clinical toxicology, and I, our MLA was very brilliant. That MLA has raised the question in assembly, and during assembly, he has give, give, talked to me on the phone and answered the questions. Then I said, this is, this is because of drinking water and cadmium, a phos phosphate manual, you will have to give a surface water. Give Euro filter and surface water. So there will be no cadmium at all. And the prepared surface water, and later on with the survey, almost, no, almost more than 90% uh, the renal failures reduce in that area. So this is a simple, simple importance. See, young farmers, Clay land, heavy metal, pesticides, half life we are discussing in detail now. Anemia, lead cause anemia, reduce the hemoglobin level, cytochrome synthesis, stimulates oxidative state, liberate free radicals, calcium dependent enzymes, apoptosis, and these are combination, these are symbolic action of the both metals. Now, chronic kidney failure in Japan is this is osteomalacia. This Japan is called herbicide and glyphosate. Japan, itai itai disease, arthritis, mass poisoning. Now, udham nephropathy, which is madam has discussed, and this is all is because of cadmium toxicities. Now, cadmium it causes interstitial nephritis, nephrolithiasis, osteomalacia, and carcinoma prostate. And urologists always thought of doing a serum cal cadmium level of a patient of calcium prostate. This is the way. That is the way to do research. So nobody can think it. So this is important. Copper is part of all this serious damage. Pesticide, anemia, nephropathy. Now, this well water. Now, hardness of water was very high. Now, CKD, various causes of heat, heat, the iron, madam has already discussed in detail why the farmer says cause various. Who now the farmer is not working hard. They are also become lazy because easy level of everything now. Government is giving free, maximum free material to them. So, farmer is not working hard. NSID. No NSID be to be given to a lay person or man without prescription. NS card is a main culprit of the kidney failure. I have seen a teacher for backup consuming NSID come with a die of renal failure. Please remember 10 times when you sub subscribe renal NSID to the patient. I have seen a patient of NSID died of anaphylactic shock. Remember, even diclofen can cause a severe anaphylactic shock. Now, surface cadmium, this was said, detect salty land and major copper content. Now, this is a pathophysiology. This is a pathophy, you see. Now, when it is called hepatorenal recirculation, now, the, uh, re, uh, this hepatogastric recirculation can occur and glutathione, this is thion, which is liberated, excreted in the kidney, glomerulus. And glomerulus is com combined with the metal of thion. After metal has come on, it is reabsorbed proximal tubules, again excreted in glomerulus, and glomerulus is again separated 
from the from metal thion, and this vicious circle continue in the kidney, result in the chronic kidney failure for 24 years. So this is the reason why we get an all inflammation teacher, all absorption after this is detailed pathophysiology is given any textbook and have a textbook regarding cadmium toxicity. Now this is a clay sign. This is a photograph. This is a clay soil. Now this we publish in the articles. Now there, there is no scientific and political is to study in detail, find out. See, I have, I have put you all scientists in one part, one part and another government. They are sailing in the same boat because there was no scientific and political risk to study in detail and find out the permanent solution except attending the funeral of a farmer died of CKD and fighting for reimbursement of the money. Four lakhs, ten lakhs. Yesterday I have seen that ten lakhs has no value. The, the person who died in that report says has no value. So said the, the government today think paying money is duties over her. Replace the soul. Replace the soul. It is impossible in this world. Now government of Maharashtra took out. Now when I published, government has took the cognizance of my report and they are, they are stopped, close the bore whale and this open whale, which is a reach in the cadmium and leg, cadmium and leg. And ultimately, they have given this surface water worry, more lake was formed, and this surface water reached to the places. And now there is no, uh, so since the advent of surface water and reverse osmosis filter, no, no questions of renal failure, no new death due to renal failure in the chief the villager, which is compound, and he is a he is the father of cadmium toxicity who has given me repeated call, doctor, do something, do something. This is a serpent of this area and credit goes to this fellow who has advised me, sir, do, do something for this. And he was, he was so happy that, sir, now he reportedly every week to me, there is no new case now. No, there is no new lagan, no new case. So my dear friend, let us see, if, uh, can anybody diagnose this? One, two, three. So this is this patient has a knuckle pigmentation. This oral pigmentation, uh, this is a uh, polymorph shows hypernucleated, hypermature, multinuclear polymorph is a B12 deficiency. It's a very common B12. Can you diagnose this? This patient has hyperpigmentation. All hyperpigmentation. Look, look at the nail of this patient. There is no pigmentation on the nail. Look at this, the nail is also pigmented. So this was addition disease. During dengue, patient had addition disease of pigmentations. When we treated, the, the, everything disappears. So pigmentation, so you cannot recognize this fellow at all. So this is a typical pigmentation which can be reduced. Now remember, Namaskar. See, sign is same, disease is deeper. This patient has got a diabetic nephropathy peripheral nephropathy, and this got Jensen disease. Another got the same disease, same virus, herpes vipers, one because a old woman present as a jester, ophthalmicus. Young woman who's got a good immunity gives a chicken pox. So it is, it is the immunity status decide the growth of the virus, fungus, or bacteria. So that is important. Next important, this girl has come to me that she is unable to look properly. When you look to the object, the object goes gradually become clear. See, I am using the word gradual. What is Wattman sign? Slow relaxation of ankle jab. Similar phenomena as well. She has a low voltage pattern. Papillidema. I do fundoscopy. I must do fundoscopy. I got a fundoscope. Don't depend on others. Inequality. We must be uh, abolished. I do fundoscopy. She had a papillidema. And then we started with this hypothyroidism, everything disappeared, vision improved, she got married, she got children, everything is okay. So simple clinical diagnosis. Now the boss say, my boss may go to ophthalmologist, then go to CT scan, go to somebody else, go to natural lunar, where natural lunar is big size, madras and this big size. So that is our idea. So now look at, see how the knowledge here. This is my friend. When he was coming to me, 10 years before, this thing, this developing disease, he said, Bhavaskar, I am unable to pronounce the R. He, he was complaining that I am unable to pronounce the R. So I, whole nights I was doing R, 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 R. 
So how the ra is pronounced? Because of tongue. Contact the tongue attached to the soft palate. Tongue is supplied by hypo hypoglossal nerve. Hypoglossal is a motor nerve. Motor nerve lies the biggest nucleus of the floor of the core. Floor of the core, ventricle. Biggest motor nerve is affecting. Means what is the disease? Motor nerve disease, motor neuron disease. After 10 years, he developed motor neuron disease. This uh, uh, president of America was diagnosed dementia 10 years before. Similarly, we diagnosed this more 10 years before. So simple clinical examination. Now look at this. This patient, uh, the, this patient was with the physician. He said, Dr. So patient is hypotension, vomiting, and sinus. You, you may send me the photograph. She sent the photograph. I said, it is meth hemoglobinemia. It is a meth hemoglobinemia because Slate curl, dagri patti, oh, stone ki patti rai chiti na? Pahili dhus patti, patti, stone, slate, slate. The slate color sinus is typically mentioned in the textbook. They have started methylene blue and color disappear, patient improved. So this is a clinical diagnosis. Simple clinical diagnosis can be Now same thing, which we will say the gym tonic. See, dexone and ciproheptadine. Now dexone and ciproheptadine, gym tonic. ECG shows the uveos. Now, Dexona will improve, make them more healthy. Eh? One because fatty. This uh, gym people want fatty. Simultaneously, they develop Cushing syndrome, abnormal. Ciproheptadine, you see, Cushing syndrome is due to ACTH, acetotropic hormones, acetylcholterol hormones, which secreted in pituitary gland. And neurotransmitter from hypothalamus, the pituitary is serotonin. If serotonin is inhibited by ciproheptadine, ACTH will be prevented the secretion and Cushing syndrome doesn't appear, but his aim is that you would become fat. So this is why, that's why treatment of Cushing syndrome is ciproheptadine. Now let us see, now neuroparalysis, this is simple metal clinically, keep, keep, keeping your eyes back over the toes is high because his tosis high will yeah, enhance the acetylcholine SS and prevent the tosis. So if the tosis improve, this patient is likely to, uh, re, uh, likely to stimulate, uh, improve with the neostic mean. Now see, scorpion bite continues. See, I will give one example of the scorpion bite, how the patient become. You see, when we applied a sodium nitroposide in the rural area, nothing was available. My missus was teaching the rubber uh, uh, micro macrosect uh, adding a one drop, BP was 70, where sodium nitroproside is contraindicated. But I say, I will apply sodium nitroproside. I was convinced because that patient doesn't respond to, to any decongestion treatment. And I was just taking the BP of the patient. See, one drop BP. Surprisingly, in a three to four drops, BP was raised by 10 millimeters. So I was happy, patient is responding. After six hours, patient improved, pulmonary my disorder, go to the sleep, he passed him, he become warm, he was comfortable. But unfortunately, on the same day, I received a phone call of my father died. I did not attend the funeral, but continue the patient because my, my teacher has taught me patient is the center of medical universe. And that's why this patient survived. Now, 130 patients we survived. Later on, we published in many articles, BMJ, and simple mosquito net we found. How you see, this is also another, another to learn how to do research. You see, during uh, during three years, crate in my area, only crate by patient were come Hindus, not a single Muslim. So I was surprised. Nocturnal, snake bite, crate bite, why Hindus, not Muslim? So there was one village, Warren village, where there are 50, 50 Hindu and Muslim. I gone to the village during night, and how Hindus sleep, how Muslims sleep. Muslim always sleep on the cot. They always use a nearly mos proper mosquito. Hindu never use a sleep on the cot. They sleep on the floor bed without cot. So my research has come that only simple use of mosquito net, which are accepted all over the world, prevents snake bite, crate bite, and scorpion bite. Malaria, filaria, dengue, and This is important. What grant required? Kalantri, sir, what grant required for this research? How much we have to apply? We have to apply for this grant. So this is published all over. Now important, see, this is protocol I prepare for scar patient, which is published in the International Journal. You can read any time. See, telemedicine. Now very important. I Daily I receive phone call. 
this child was uh, breathing, child was sweating, child was irritating, child is, uh, uh, can I send to him, don't send, I'm not going to send. But listen to me. Put a rice to be not taking, put a prazosin, and child will recover. I will flu, that's all important thing. So telemedicine is very important. Provided you must have confidence that what you're saying. When I talk with the doctor who is from periphery, the doctor feels that I'm treating a patient. The Bhavaskar himself is treating a patient. So this is important and this is the most important thing. See, acute stroke, acute BP over 210 by 120 scorpions thing, no PV at all. So, so uh, vagolytic, no PV at all. Now this again, patient has come from this, I think, this is from medical college, one medical college. The, the, there was a pulmonary edema, they were treated patient with dopamine, noradrenaline drip, which is contraindicated. They were given, and the ultimately patient was serious, and they asked me on the phone. I said, who me tall? Start dopamine, patient improve. So this is important. And Nantar, then, then what's important? This is a, this acknowledgement, see? Pulmonary carry, hematra of such patient in rural area with a treated what Dr. Kalantri has acknowledged on the, on the Facebook. So this is very, very important to, to know this diagram. Mark tachycardia, see? You cannot count sota mark tachycardia. Now look at this, everybody has seen, but for the, for the shot to recover, look at the crate. Crate gas, local bite, no bite site, tosis, amnesia uh, uh, paralysis, recovery. Cobra caught local bite, local edema, sudden death can occur, tosis can occur, respiratory failure, pulmonary edema, and cardio depression, and local injury. Russell viper bite, local bite, edema, uh, bleeding from the site of edema, because there is local DIC formation, because McFarney, you show brilliant McFarney hematologist get a Nobel Award. What he did? He adhered the Russell viper venom to hemophilic blood, and blood clotted and elucidated the, elucidate the coagulation factors. So this is very important. And we can get capillary leak syndrome, which is a very high mortality. Ickies bite, we can get a stroke and a bleeding disorders. And blips, we can get renal failure to be prevented. Remember, Russell Viper is main, 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 uh, main enemy of the farmers. Russell Viper venom, if you want to prevent renal failure, give 20 vials to start. We don't have that slide, no, the 25 is to start, then follow up 60, uh, 20 minute hopeful clotting test. Now, intubation. In the crate bite, if the patient is unable to lift the neck, intubate. Don't wait for any SPO2, maybe 100%. Don't believe in that because patient is unable, unable to lift, he sees likely to go in respiratory failure. And she need. that's a very important patient recovery. Even AMBOVAP can give. So, intubation. Pulling of saliva, unable to lift the lift the head is the diet, is the indication of the intubation. Now look at this patient. This patient is from, from 15 kilometers from my heart. Early in the morning, I receive a call from a doctor. That woman has come while while uh, touching to the wall, something is bitten, and she was just abnormal behavior. I see the cobra white give new stigma. Remember, in a cobra white patient, come in a respiratory failure, gasping. Give new stigma for resuscitate the muscle power, resuscitate by respiration, then you give ESV. So we started new stigma and ESV treated there only in 15 kilometers, that hospital, and with that has patients record on second and discharge. What is my advantage? What I learned, I train one doctor, I increase confidence on peripheral doctor, inequity is dissolved. So this is the way to treat is an advice to doctor. Now, in cobra bite, relapse can occur, remember. This relapse is known in cobra bite. Now, what, what in India? This is a misery. This is a misery of my India. Look at, in the morning, this child was brought there with a history of pain in abdomen, midnight, breathlessness, and patient, they found a crate in the house. Look at the crate in the house, how simple house. See, they cannot do. Mosquito net cost how much? 500 or 1,000 rupees, but bloody, these people can purchase a disc, television disc, but not the mosquito net. This is today's misery of my nation. What we want, what food we want, we don't know. What protection we want, we don't know. This would have prevented. So they can yell their TV disc to receive the news, which is useless. 
Now, remember, this is again, look at this place. We have seen, we have gone to one place, one Tom, famous in Bulana. This is again coming in the Lancet. Next month, we reach in Tom. All hysterical patients, then schizophrenic patients, non-treatable myopathies, they uh, coming and they are put like this. So this, this we are now fighting for this. We are, we are, we are going to publish it. Uh, it is in the Lancet. Lancet has accepted this. This should be disappeared from India. Young people, young women, they are, they are pepped, uh, they are uh, put like this. They are bangles and put like this. And they are, they are sometimes mild depressions. So now this happened. The accident. Die of infarctment. Don't die in accident, my dear friends. Because relative can think, but in parts me wise are little short than oh marga to marga heart attack. So die of in part, but not in accident. See, in in our road, 25 people are burn out in the bus. Look at this. 25 people are burned in the bus. So life is so cheap in India. Look at this. Looking, so see the burn. So this should this should not prevent it. Me, this again, Madura food is Madura food is common in this area. Now Madura food is common in my area. We use septran and fluconazole for six months. That can curable. So this is fluorosis, typical fluorosis. This is uh, dental fluorosis is uh, irreversible, but skeletal fluorosis is uh, reversible. And if you want to, you want to prolong the life. If you want to say prolong, how to improve, how to be healthy. How to prolong, how to be 100 years. You ask this patient. Ask this patient who has passed more than 80 years. They will give you answer. One, no sit and no rise. They never should. No addiction at all. Addiction means what? You must have addiction of good thinking. You must have addiction of uh, rastra prem. You must have addiction of to, to be with a good family, or, uh, family. And that is addiction. You must have addiction to read a good books. That is very important. And family, no food without hungry. Now they say break for lunch. Break for tea. Everybody on lunch, so still will go on. I go and attend the tea and lunch. So this should not happen. Never pull to me. A seasonal fruit, avoid everything. My dear friends, let your degree to be torn out, eaten by termites, but not your brain. This is very important now. You can read and understand. Let heat and my, my, this is my degree, really heat and by termites. But I would say, well, now you might have realized my brain is not heat and by it. Now, this why search of a research which we already published. Now, these are the re now, now this is look at this. This is my research. My high index, H index is 31. Publication H index is 31, 144 article published in the various journals, peer reviewed journal. I am a Google scholar, which is the, the recently I have checked out this. Now remember, Lancet birth took place in 1823. Weckley has produced a Lancet 1823. Now, 7 October 2023, 20, it is 200 years. And they have given my correspondence later in printer page that is. Four decades associated with the Lancet, please read it. In that letter, we have mentioned one thing that a, a three month old child of scorpions thing, sweating, sweating, and tachycardia was reluctant to take prazosin. We don't have injective prazosin. And about to the rise tube, mother was panicked. We both, my wife was panicked because child was not taking a prazosin. Story up to 10 years before. So ultimately, what to do? I told the, I threatened the mother if the child do not take prazosin, child is going to die. I sit there, mother, and you see, mother is the highest, highest authority in the world. Those who got a mother, they are the luckiest people in the world. Those are, these are the mother. There is nothing, no, no other heart we found in the, everybody got a heart, but mother heart is a mother heart. Now, that mother has make a paste of that prazosin powder, apply to the nipple and forcibly put it in the mouth of a child and child suck the, suck the nipple and prazosin and child survive. This route of administration is not mentioned. Well-known textbook of Nelson. But it has appeared in the Lancet. So my dear friend, this is, this is, I see, this is, this is a currently lifetime achievement, what I say. Last 14 years, child of Scorpio, Simple, Miltima, Cardinal Shock. 
we could not so well equip rice you. So child died, but Kalantri said, Bhavaskar saved the child. So this is something acknowledgement we say, my dear friend, remember, corporate hospitals, we want patient. No ICU bed should be empty. Each and every ICU bed should fall. Because we want money, money, money. But remember, how many corporate hospitals, but PSC with the Lancet article, highlights, clinical images, remains lower side. It is always, a corporate hospital is always lighter than the research. So research is more valued. My dear friend, what equity? We are anxiously waiting for the day to occur. Am I right? Now, equal sharing of health, nutrition, wealth, and rights. If you, we are, if the nation, if we doctors are able to equally share the health, nutrition, wealth, and rights, we can, we can early achieve the equity of the health. And actually, this happened. And thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That was packed. Okay. Yes, the session is open for any comments or questions from the audience. You can ask me questions, huh? please. But that is important. Means something. I can improve myself. I can add something to the extra. There should be passion for research. Remember, there should be passion. I expense expenses sixty four thousand rupees for analysis of uh, near of thirty samples of academy of my Desle, Amrutha Institute, Kochi. We are doctors. We must keep one saving for research only. That saving can be used only research, 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 and research. Nothing. Such a such book we got saving book, and still there are many money with me. We can utilize it. An important thing is research cannot be done without help of family members. My family members are very good. There is no obstruction at all. My wife has a screw. Hello? 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 One question. What is the source of your energy? Huh? <laughs> no, you see, what you know, you, that is different lecture. You know, that is a different lecture. You see, daily I walk seven kilometers and one kilometer living last 47 years. And passion, I never cheat my conscience, which I like that I do. That is important. If I say I don't able to treat you, I don't able to give you a diagnosis, I am not your doctor. One visit, second, third visit, I am a diagnosed, other change the doctors. That is important. Don't cheat the conscious. Never cheat the conscious. And remember, a modern doctor, recent doctor, should listen minimum to their parent because they want luxury from you. Thank you, sir. Any question? Any other questions? Nothing on the comment box. Speechless, yes, you are right. Oh. It was lovely to hear from a veteran. Okay. Uh, understanding the art of medicine. Thank you, sir, for Thank your you. excellent talk. Let's put our hands together and give him another round of applause. We would like to express our gratitude to Dr. Bavaska for that talk. We would like to thank Dr. J.V. Peter for moderating this session. We request Dr. Uh, J.V. Peter to please Felicitate Dr. Bavaskar on behalf of the Department of Medicine. Thank you.